Hey, this video is going to be a bit different from the ones that I usually do because for once I'm not talking about a bunch of deranged degenerates or anything like that. Because, you know, throughout the course of my channel, I know a lot of these stuff that I primarily deal with. Uh, it, it's not good stuff. Obviously, it's, it's depraved. It's vile. It's evil. And it can be pretty easy to look at that stuff and just kind of abandon your fate in humanity sometimes you might be thinking yeah we don't deserve to survive with the kind of sadistic shit that some people would go out of their way to you know do but here's the thing though since i began this project my appreciation for humanity has actually gone up not down why you ask because i've come into contact with so many people that have been working tirelessly for a variety of different causes that it's not just simply related to the welfare of animals, but to the welfare of humans as well. And their jobs are thankless in a lot of ways. But rather, these people have dedicated their entire lives to making things better in some way or another at the expense of, well, their own mental health, their own physical health in some cases, and simply just being able to live a normal life at times. Seeing how many of these people there are out there that have sacrificed so much to genuinely try and improve the world in general was actually something that was pretty inspiring. I, I mean, that that sounds like some, some Disney movie shit, but that's what it was. It, it was genuinely inspiring and, and a lot of my cynicism and pessimism in general, the attitude that I had to life, it sort of just melted away over a period of time and um it genuinely helped me find a new appreciation for a lot of the things that i take for granted a lot of the people that i can often take for granted as well and if you watch that previous video of mine i mentioned that vets uh they're extremely underappreciated and their job takes quite a toll on their mental health and the reason i'm making this video is because i wanted to draw some attention to a pair of vets that kind of really struck a chord with me. I've been following them on social media for some time now. Their names are Leonid and Valentina Stoyanov. They're a pair of vets who use their social media platform to provide an insight into their, um, their life, their activities as vets, to educate individuals on the difficulties of caring for, you know, what they might call exotic pets. You know, since the pandemic has rolled around, there's been a sharp increase in the, uh, illegal wildlife trade there are a number of people who post videos on social media showing off their unusual pets which then leads to other people wanting pets like those which then increases poaching and uh, creates a lot of unfortunate situations particularly when the animals in question are endangered and you know a lot of their work kind of goes into educating people that these are wild animals they're extremely difficult for the average person to care for and that that includes monkeys among other uncommon animals and that you're causing a tremendous amount of harm to these animals when you take them out of their natural habitat and you do whatever with them so basically long story short is i had an appreciation for the work that these people were doing but there's kind of a problem they live in ukraine i don't really think i need to give you any details as to what's currently going on in ukraine you know there's an unhinged billionaire in a expensive suit that seems hell-bent on destroying both the ukrainian people as well as his own people apparently as he's happily tossing them into gulags for daring to speak out against them it's a uh, incredibly disturbing and distressing situation especially with the idea that it can easily escalate into something that nobody wants that's the kind of shit that will turn our lives completely upside down and everything we've taken for granted just disappears nobody wants that but yet despite the fact that their cities are being bombed their homes are burning to the ground this couple has chosen to stay in odessa in ukraine and they're urging individuals that are evacuating to um don't abandon their pets, just bring them to them and they're going to try to find a way to either get them out of the city or find some place safe where they can be sheltered until they can be ferried out of the city. For smaller pets such as reptiles and amphibians and the like, they're accepting them and taking care of them in their basement office. And it is something that is obviously not going to be easy even remotely when you might be thinking that your roof can collapse on your head at any minute. They're, they're attempting to hold on for as long as they can and they... They have balls of steel. That's that's what I'm going to say. They have balls of steel. You know, there's this thing where in wartime, people, once they realize that they aren't constrained by the rules of civilian life anymore, they just kind of 
they just kind of snap because they realize they can do whatever they want and commit all sorts of atrocities. It's It's been common throughout human history, but the exact opposite is also true. It brings out the best in some people, you know, like a Nazi official in World War II who's there during the invasion of Nanking, risked his life to hide uh, civilians in his own home and attempt to protect them from the massacre that was occurring around them. So, um, yeah, that's kind of just what I wanted to do here. I wanted to put a spotlight on somebody that I think actually deserves it for once, or a couple of individuals that actually deserve it for once. I have never spoken to them. I doubt I'd be able to get through to them if I tried. I think they're probably going to be pretty busy right now. And, you know, I wish them the absolute best with regards to what they're doing. And I hope they make it out safely with as many lives saved as they could have possibly managed. I'll uh, leave a link down below to their social media as well as to their own personal website if you'd like to assist them in any any sort of way. I'm sure they will appreciate it. And yeah, again, I am not affiliated with them in any way. I've never spoken to them. This is just, I just wanted to draw some attention to these guys. So uh, yeah, till next time.